Okay, FAQ number 107. Question comes up, how frequently should communion be done? Okay, again, there's no specifics spelled out. It has to be X number of times a year. But I'll just show you something here. Acts chapter 2, um, verse 42, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Breaking of bread, I believe, is you know, the communion service there. Um, and jump down to verse 46. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Again, you could make that into the thing of breaking the bread in the, you know, they were doing it kind of almost as a meal, um, but as a remembrance of what Jesus did on the cross, you know, there. Um, should you do it on a daily basis? Well, uh, no, I wouldn't say daily. Uh, turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. This is the main passage on the thing of what we would call communion. Um, 1 Corinthians 11 verse tw uh, 20 says, When ye come together therefore into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's supper. For in eating every one taketh before other his own supper, and one is hungry and another is drunken. Uh, what have ye not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. Now the church of God, of course, there is a reference to the people coming together. So you get people there and they're they're getting carnal and things. And they're, this guy over here is eating food and this one doesn't have anything. And that one over there is, you know, drinking and things. And, and it's uh, the church at Corinth was very carnal. But um, he's he's talking about when they're coming together, it's not to eat the Lord's Supper. All right. Um, continuing, verse 23. Uh, so in other words, they weren't doing it each time they got together. Verse 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the same, or that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup, and when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Okay, and it goes on, on down through there with the warning saying, you know, make sure you're doing this thing as a saved person and you're not just flippantly thinking about your salvations. It's no big deal. It's a time of self-reflection, a time of, of judging yourself. That's why the purpose of communion is there. Um, so what Paul is saying there in the first part, he's saying when you're coming together, don't just be carnal and eating food and stuff like that and, and you know, making jealousy and whatever. Uh, when you're coming together um, and you're going to eat the Lord's Supper there, it's, it shouldn't be a carnal thing. It shouldn't just be a flippant thing like, oh, hey, I could eat some bread and drink some of that grape juice over there. Yeah, give it to me. No, 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 no. It's a time of self-reflection. And... Um, Again, I believe that he was talking about, uh, you know, the, them meeting together for the express purpose of worshiping the Lord. Now, having said that, I will tell you some of my experiences in the past. Um, there was a, a Catholic cult building, Baptist and Catholic. We just kind of stick it together, cult Catholic. But uh, this one it was Mount Zion Baptist Church in uh, Denver, Pennsylvania. And uh, I remember they would do communion just about every Sunday night. And it was a carnal thing because what they were doing with it is the, uh, the faithful inner clique would be there every Sunday night. And it was just kind of like, you know, they would never do it on Sunday morning. It was never there Sunday morning. And because uh, a lot of times I wouldn't go Sunday night because I had other things going and whatever else. And uh, it was like this carnal thing, like only the faithful get to have the communion here, you know. You, if you don't come every week on, you know, Sunday night, then you don't get communion. And it was just like that kind of a carnal thing there. But uh, then I've been to other ones where it was like literally maybe once a year they do communion. Um, which one's the right one? Well, uh, I think it's, a, it's just mainly a thing. It's an ordinance that's there. It's a, it's a thing that I think that you should do it at least once a year as a time of self-reflection. But honestly, you're supposed to be... You know, the one uh, thing there, uh, two FAQs ago, the uh, 104, uh, well, actually, it'd be three ago. How often should a Christian repent? Well, it's, a, it's 
can you should continue to be judging yourself every day. Um, does that mean you have to take communion every day? No, it doesn't. Um, it's a remembrance thing, and you're showing the Lord's death until He comes. It's about actually the Lord coming back too. So you're remembering that, remembering to keep yourself in a in a continuous repentance state. And again, you know, you don't need to go to some building someplace and have an officially ordained priest to transform your bread and wine into the actual body and blood of Jesus. That's Catholic, okay? It's pagan. Um, if you could transform, then you wouldn't be allowed to eat it, according to the New Testament. Acts chapter 15, you're not allowed to eat blood and, and flesh in terms of raw like that. So, uh, how often should you do communion? Well... Um, I would say at least once a year. If you want to make it um, maybe a few times a year or something like that, that's fine. Uh, every week, uh, you know, be careful not to get into a rut, into a habit where you just kind of, oh, we, oh yeah, we got to do the thing again here, and you just kind of, your mind's off someplace else. Uh, I think that that would be the danger of doing it too much. So that's how I would answer that question.